morning YouTube. All right, guys, it is uh, Monday morning. I just finished closing out the other video from the weekend here. Town and I loaded up the motorcycles. Katie just got done cleaning the house. And I think we're just about ready to roll out. Now, we're not going real far at first. We are uh, heading over towards Erie, Pennsylvania. My friend Gary lives over there in Western New York. And there's a truck stop there that he says he likes that we can get into pretty easy. And he's gonna meet us for dinner. After dinner, I don't know whether we're gonna keep driving for a little while. I, I think we might, cause it's only about four hours. Well, depending on the route, between three and four hours to get to Erie from where we're at. And uh, I don't wanna go that short of a day. We do need to get out to South Dakota. We really need to be there by the 4th, at least pull in the evening of the 4th so we can set up on the 5th. So I don't want to hurry, but I don't want to dawdle either. So here we go. But if you saw the last video already, you know that we really enjoyed our time here with family. Uh, they got this quaint little place out here in the sticks. The neighbor across the street, Chris, was gracious enough to let us park our rig in his driveway and it fit pretty well. So at least we know we got a place to stay when we come up here from now on. So right now we're like somewhere right in between Rochester and 
Buffalo. I think we're I think we're closer to Buffalo. I think we're only about 25 miles from Buffalo or so. But we were running low on fuel. As much as I hate to pay these New York fuel prices, don't have much of a choice. But also, I needed some coffee. You know, it's about 1.30 in the afternoon now, and I haven't had any coffee since this morning, so it was time. But I was gonna do a quick walk around. Now it's not raining and pouring and everything. I can take a quick look, make sure we're not leaking any oil from the drive line, and uh, check everything else as well. All right, didn't need as much fuel as I thought. I bought 150 gallons, but uh, you know my needle was on E, and it's looking at about 50 gallons in it when it says E, so we weren't desperate to stop, but I don't like pushing stuff like that too far. But now we're all fueled up. Let's get back on the road. All right, we're pulling out from the fuel island, and look, it looks like there's another Southern Tire Mart here. It looks like another brand new one as well. Hope those guys are just as great as the last ones. Pennsylvania line they got the right lane closed so we moved to the left and now everybody in the world is passing us on the right All right, guys, we made it to the TA here, exit 35 in Pennsylvania, just a few miles before uh, Erie. It's called something something Creek Travel Plaza. I don't know, but it's a TA. Uh, Gary should meet us here in a little bit. He hasn't started heading this direction yet, but uh, when he gets here, we're going to visit with him for a little bit, and then we're most likely going to get right back on the road.
All right, guys, we met with Gary for a little while and had dinner, sat around, laughed, joked, had a really good time. It's uh, almost nine o'clock now. We're walking back out to Goliath, and I think that because we're parked and it's nice and cool here, I think we're actually just gonna go to sleep here for a little bit and then get up at like three or four and head out. I'm actually a little bit tired, especially now that they've eaten. And uh, I think Katie's tired too. I think that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna hang out here for the night, a few hours anyways, get some rest then hit it hard tomorrow.